Welcome to the haircut breakdown and let's see which are the worst ones to have. Let's go. Getting a haircut is probably one of the most exciting things that you can do. It is a very, very quick and effective way to pretty drastically change your hair and your appearance. But while there are so many incredible haircuts that you can try nowadays, there are a few that just don't look that great. Here are the top five worst haircuts that I have tried throughout my eight year long hair career. Let's get into them. Hi, welcome to the five worst haircuts. My name is Stella and I make it my point and my life mission to try out every single haircut, color and style out there. I absolutely love, love, love trying a bunch of different things and throughout my entire career, I've made it a very, very blanket point across all of my content that I love everything that I try. But over the many years that I have been doing this and over the many different looks that I have tried, there were a couple that stood out to me where I was like, this isn't actually that easy to wear or it's actually downright not that great. And so today I've compiled the five worst haircuts to try based on my experience wearing them. I tend to change my hair a lot, but I do know that for a lot of you guys, getting a haircut, cutting off years of growth and progress is a big deal. So I want to point out my experience wearing specific haircuts so that you can avoid any disappointment should you wish to try something new and hopefully make a more informed decision if you want to try something. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number five. At number five, the worst haircut that you can try is the sharp, full bangs or fringe if you're from Europe. This might seem extremely controversial because of the fact that I am actively wearing a sharp full bangs, but I have such a... Let me explain. So bangs are one of my favorite things to wear and I would recommend a lot of people try bangs because they are such a good way to frame the face. They offer coverage. If you have maybe insecurities about your forehead or you have some thinning around your hairline, they can provide very good cover. And overall they are stylish. They seem to go in and out and in and out and in and out of fashion. But overall having bangs is a very staple recognizable piece. Think Zoe Deschanel. Whenever she wears bangs, it's Zoe Deschanel, but the minute she removes them, it's like, well, who is that? The reason, however, that it is on the worst haircuts to try list, and I do mean this specifically for the sharp, full bangs, these ones exactly, it is because they are one of the hardest haircuts to grow. Out. The unfortunate thing about having bangs like this is that once you get them, they are quite a committing haircut. Unfortunately, once they start growing past your eyes, it's not a simple fact of pulling them up because they will still be too short to be pulled up. And you can't really do different styles with them other than to part them to the side. But again, not really going to be the easiest. In fact, this haircut is probably one of the most difficult to maintain between when it was first cut to when it is at a length where it can blend in with the rest of your haircut. This on me is a wig. It's not going to be changing length. But when cutting the haircut on yourself, you're either going to commit to it and trim it regularly on a monthly basis, which means either doing it yourself or going to a stylist, or else going through a very awkward grow out stage when you decide you don't want them anymore. The second thing is that they constantly need styling. When it's a small amount of hair and when you have fine-ish hair, hair, most likely it won't be too concerning. But if you have full thick hair, or if your hair has any wave deeper than like a 2B hair, these will need constant styling. And I mean heat styling. Unfortunately, there's no heat proof hairstyle that you can do overnight. There's nothing really that you can do other than every single morning going at it with the blower and brush or else with a straightener. And anytime you wet your bangs, they're most likely going to plaster to your forehead and not look the best. And I am truly saying this from experience. I do think it is a stunning, beautiful, and really, really charming and face framing addition that you can add to your hair, but it is a dreadfully committing haircut that needs a lot of maintenance on a day-to-day -day basis and you can't really hide it very easily. Number four, 
the mid-length layered cut. This might seem very bizarre being on this list because it seems like a gentle, genuine haircut. And I agree with that. I agree with that. I had this haircut for a very long time and it's okay. The reason, however, it is sitting very snug at number four is that it is one of the most boring haircuts ever. Wait. When you have roughly collarbone length hair, your hair is in that kind of beautiful phase where it is longer than a bob, but it is not too long that it's like getting in the way or anything. And when you keep it kind of at a one length haircut, it remains very stylish, very poised, and overall is a very, very, very elegant cut. In fact, it is one of my favorite things to continuously do on my own hair, having a one length bob. But when you pair this haircut with layers, especially long layers, which is when there is very subtle differences and the layers don't start from up here, they start from lower, it immediately ages the haircut. It's stops being poised and fresh and elegant and all of a sudden makes you look both dated and almost childlike when it comes to haircuts. Almost every single time that I had a haircut similar to this, I was always trying to find ways to make my hair look more entertaining, add curls to it, add a bit of flair, pull it up, do something with it, or normally change the color because I just, I did not like the way this haircut sat. It had a very nice full part around my head, but then thinned out very awkwardly towards the end. If this was on a way longer here, that's fine because the layers would have very gently come to a point. But because this was done at an awkward length where people could see it, it genuinely just made it look like my hair was breaking or thin or fragile or just not sitting well. If you also then have very thin hair, this haircut will then further kind of enhance that thinning because again, the ends will be thinning genuinely. If you want to avoid your haircut, looking particularly boring, dated, or aged, go for a much sleeker one length option with not too much layering at the bottom. At number three, the short bob layered cut. If you watched my previous video of the worst hair colors to try, you'll most likely have seen this look in its entirety because one of the colors that I would not recommend you try is a split dye. But the unfortunate reality is that one of the things that made me dislike the split dye in that case was the haircut that I then paired with it. When you combine layering with a short bob, it creates a very difficult length of hair to deal with. Out of all the haircuts that I, I tried, I thought that this one would be one of my favorites and it ended up becoming one of the most difficult ones when it comes to styling. First of all, this haircut did not just lie flat. Because it had all of these layerings and because the hair was short, it automatically poofed at the back. And so I always had two options, either go with it and add a ton of salt spray and volumizing products to the whole head to try to give it a very bohemian-esque look or else always need to smooth it down continuously, style the bangs, make sure it all lies neatly and hope to God that it doesn't really budge throughout the day. It was also a nightmare whenever I took it swimming because it just looked so disheveled, messy, and again, in comparison with the split dye, it was just such a bizarre combination together. If you want to go for a short haircut option, a solid bob will go much, much further versus trying to add layering. Even if your hair is fine and you're looking for volume, this haircut might be more difficult than you're signing up for. Number two, the mullet. Earlier last year, I decided that I wanted to try every single haircut. And one of the haircuts on my list was the very coveted and recently famous mullet. This was a fan favorite. So many people were so genuinely obsessed with this haircut that it actually warmed my heart so much because it was probably one of the more explorative haircuts that I've ever tried in my career and to this day remains one of the more ballsy haircuts to try. But I had a hard time even finding pictures of this haircut because I genuinely did not photograph myself a lot during this period. In fact, I went from this haircut to my pixie cut in a very short span of time. This haircut was beautiful. It was also extremely, extremely niche-like when it came to what you could wear with it. See, 
The whole point of a mullet is that it's short on the top and kind of lengthier at the back. And that kind of always looks a certain way. You always need to wear things that kind of accentuate it. My own personal fashion styling and my own personal application of makeup never really fit that aesthetic. Again, this might not be the case for you at all. And this haircut might actually fit you so, so, so well. But when it came to me and styling it, I thought it would be a genuinely easy haircut to style which it was as a haircut itself but when it came to an overall look i always felt like it was such a misbalanced and slightly non-fitting haircut with me specifically second to that it was easy to style and difficult at the same time i always woke up with the hair facing every single direction and even though it was relatively easy to style every morning because i literally just went with the salt spray every single day it didn't really fit my type of hair which is smooth and lush and that you can run your hands through it because i was always constantly layering it with styling products whenever i left this haircut unstyled with no products in it it genuinely looked so messy and so frizzy layered and a bit awkward if you are absolutely looking for something that can be styled within seconds and you're happy to have product in your hair constantly and always this one might be for you but if you're like me and you prefer something that is very very light fluffy free of product free of anything and just sits beautifully on its own this haircut might be a tad bit difficult just because it is high maintenance and it is a very very particular and specific haircut to have at number one the boyish haircut another haircut that i decided to try last year was the boyish haircut this was the haircut that i tried just before shaving it off it was my least favorite i called it a boyish haircut because it is very often seen on people who identify as men and i feel like it looks very very good when taken in a masculine context but when you try to pair it with feminine attributes with a pixie like face jewelry and makeup and everything it just didn't go again this is from a very very personal perspective but the hair was just at such a short length to style but too long to be called edgy that it just again it felt boring but it also felt difficult and it just it didn't come contribute anything. The hair was short enough that it didn't particularly pick a side to part on. It always just kind of awkwardly stood up, but it wasn't short enough to then stand up fully. It always kind of bent at the end. It was also one of those haircuts that grew exceptionally quickly and did still need regular high maintenance. As any man will tell you, probably a twice monthly haircut required. I tried it initially with a soft baby pink hair color and as much as I wanted the hair color to work with it, it just, it didn't go. The haircut was not particularly feminine on me. It didn't particularly spark anything excitement and every time I saw myself in the mirror, I was like, this is not exciting. It's not delivering anything. It wasn't particularly hard to style in a styling perspective, mainly because there wasn't too much hair and I just flattened it with a beanie, but it, was, it wasn't giving much. It, I, I was always longing for it either to be shorter or longer. It was such an in-between haircut that I just, as a creative and as a person who loved hair, it just wasn't giving anything. It was, however, pretty low maintenance, so if that's your go-to, go for it. But if you are looking for exciting and if you are looking for an edgy kind of short haircut, this one is still not the one to go for. It was one of those haircuts that no matter what color I dyed it, no matter what I put on it, even when it was blonde, green, black, or pink, it just, it didn't do anything. Every single one of these was based on my personal experience. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it might not work for you and vice versa. And I am still a big believer that you can only judge something based on you actually trying it. So if you genuinely want to try any one of these haircuts or any other haircut, please try it. But if you are someone who sees haircuts as big decisions because you are aware that hair takes a while to grow, take these into consideration before trying any of these. I would love to know your thoughts on this, especially if you have any one of these haircuts. Let me know if you faced some of these dilemmas, if you faced some of these styling issues, and and also let me know if you'd love to see any other haircut video 
maybe the best haircuts I ever tried. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, join the Stellar fam and let's learn a thing or two together. And if you want to see me try any other haircut, let me know down below. I'm always super excited to see what you recommend. Also, everyone is always asking me whether my eyeballs are real or not. Their lenses, obviously. These ones are by TTDI. I'm going to link them down below. There's also a coupon code. This is not an ad, but you're always asking me. But they... Uh, the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video. Bye babies!